This Engineering is Elementary digital how-to will demonstrate how to make the vials needed for one group for Lesson 3 of Taking the Plunge, Designing Submersibles. For this Engineering is Elementary how-to, you will need clear plastic tank, about 14.5 gallons, 18 mini glass marbles, 45 pony beads, a permanent marker, 4.5 teaspoons of sand, paper towels, six small vials, about five grams, several cups of water. For the temperature sensor, put 15 pony beads in the vial. As you fill the vials, use a permanent marker to label them with the appropriate title. For the sound recorder, put six marbles in the vial. For the lights, put 12 marbles in the vial. For the manipulator arm, pour about 1.5 teaspoons of sand in the vial. For the battery, pour about 3 teaspoons of sand in the vial. Be sure there are no extraneous grains of sand around the rim of the vials that contain the sand. Grains of sand can interfere with the seal on the vials, letting water inside. Test each vial by placing it in a clear 14.5 gallon tank with about 4 inches of water in it. The vial should flow as listed on the chart in Part 1 Preparation section of Lesson 3. How to make the large vials needed for one group for Lesson 3 of Taking the Plunge, Designing Submersibles. To make the large vials for one group, you will need clear passive tank, about 14.5 gallons, 42 mini glass marbles, 115 pony beans, 9 teaspoons of sand, 6 large vials, about 12 grams, paper towels, a permanent marker, several cups of water. For the pressure sensor, put 30 pony beads in the vial. As you fill the vials, use a permanent marker to label them with the appropriate title. For the sample box, put 85 pony beads in the vial. For the sonar, put 12 marbles in the vial. For the suction sampler, put 30 marbles in the vial. For the camera, pour about 3 teaspoons of sand in the vial. For the salt sensor, pour about 6 teaspoons of sand in the vial. Grains. Be sure there are no extraneous grains of sand around the rim of the vials containing sand. Grains of sand can interfere with the seal on the vials letting water inside. Again, test each vial by placing it in a clear 14.5 gallon tank with about 4 inches of water in it. The vial should float as listed on the chart in Part 2 Preparation section of Lesson 3.